Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to give numbering in IUPAC nomenclature. So today I am going to take three examples and by these three examples we are going to learn how numbering matters in IUPAC nomenclature. So let's start with the first example. So as we know that in IUPAC nomenclature we have to select the longest chain and we have to give the numbering uh, in the longest chain like in this case this is my longest chain and here I am going to give a number from uh, left side 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and in another way I am giving a numbering from the right to left so I have these two structures from this side means uh, right, uh, left to right side the name of this compound will be what 3 ethyl 5 methyl heptan and in this side uh, the numbering at uh, ethyl is a 5 and uh, here is a 3 is a methyl so the name become 5 ethyl 3 methyl heptane as you know that we have to give the priority to the alphabetical order here is a e is here so we are going to give the numbering as a 3 okay and methyl comes later in the alphabetical order so the correct name of the compound is what 3 ethyl 5 methyl heptane because we have to give the lowest number to the uh, comp group which comes alphabetically first and here our ethyl comes first rather than the methyl. So this is a simple case of alpha uh, uh, IUPAC nomenclature but when we are talking about some complex cases like this okay so let's give the number like as I previously I told that 1 2 3 here 4 5 6 and if we are going to give a name like 3 ethyl 5 5 dimethyl heptane so your answer is wrong so what we have to see the seed i am giving a number from right to left over here and the name become 5 ethyl 3 3 dimethyl heptane so why i do this so there is a one rule that when two different groups are present at the same distance we have to do the summation and we have to give the numbering in a such a way that that summation will be minimum like in this case uh, 3 5 5 so the answer is 13 and in this case 3 3 5 so answer is 11 so this 3 3 5 11 is a list so we have to give numbering in a such a way that uh, we have to give a name as a 5 ethyl 3 3 diamethyl heptane please keep in mind that the 5 number is a larger but ethyl group from alphabetical order it is a least one so we have to take ethyl as a first and methyl later okay and it is only one reason that the numbering summation is what least the next case uh, in this case let's give the number from the both side here right to left and here left to right so when you are doing the same thing in the previous stage we got this summation both side and that summation is what 3355 5. here also 3355 5. so we get the answer is equal to 16 so what happened when answer is equal to 16 or same answer so when we have a same answer then we have to keep in mind that here see ethyl group is getting list number and in this case methyl group ethyl group is getting number 5 so when the summation is same in both cases we have to keep our uh, group alphabetical prior group having a list number in this case our alphabetical oral priority group is ethyl group and in this case it is getting a 3 3 number in this case this is getting 5 5 number so list number is 3 3 so this is our correct name 3 3 diethyl 5 5 di methyl heptane so these three examples are very helpful to understand what is the importance of numbering in the case of IUPAC nomenclature so if you like this video please press the button like share and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you very much